Afghanistan at sports time were 71 for 5 after 11 overs in their Super 8's ICC T20 World Cup game against India at the Kensington Oval in Bridgetown, Barbados. Earlier, India made 181 for 8 in their 20 overs. Surya Kumar Yadav top scored with 53, while Ardik Pandeya made 32, Virat Kohli 24, and Rishpapan 20. Fazal Haq Furuki took three for 33, and Rashid Khan, two for 26, bowling for the Afghans. And the West Indies were humbled in St. Lucia on Wednesday night. They lost by eight wickets to defending champions England in their opening Super 8 game. The Caribbean team batted first and put on 180 for four of their 20 overs. Johnson Charles made 38, while Captain Rovman Powell and Nicholas Puran each weighed in with 36. Sherfin Rutherford was left unbeaten on 28. England were brutal in reply. They Raced 181 for two with 15 balls to spare. Phil Salt slammed 87 from 47 balls, and Johnny Beers tore 48, shearing in an unbroken third wicket stand of 91 to take England to the top of Group Two. This was the West Indies' first defeat of the campaign, and Captain Powell says England was better on the night. Yeah, we're normally very good in the last in the last five overs, you know. But credit after we give it to England bowling unit. You can see they have clear plans and the execution was good. You know those things do happen. It's just for us now as a batting group, a bowling group. You know just to sit, reevaluate, and take the positives from this game. West Indies captain Rovman Power. The Windies will next face the United States at Kensington Oval in Bridgetown, Barbados, and that's tomorrow night. So the Windies are traveling today across what 30 minutes flying from St. Lucia to Bridgetown. So they should now be in Bridgetown getting ready for that game tomorrow night. Head coach of MVP track club Stephen Francis says printer Kishane Thompson is in the form to produce something special at the National Senior Championships at the National Stadium June 27 to 30. The relatively then unknown Thompson stole the spotlight on day one of the championships last year. Thompson, who will be 23 years old in July, stunned the National Stadium when he clocked 9.91 seconds to win his quarterfinal. Running from lane 8, he defeated the pre-race favorite Akeem Blake, who was second in 10 seconds. Flat. Speaking on Sportsmax, Francis says Thompson, who has a personal best of 9.85, is in the best shape of his career. He certainly could do as well as as he's ever done. Certainly his, his, his training performances are, are, are good and they are going to get better because, as I said, it's only about two months since he has been able to go full blast. Francis says it's the first time in years that Thompson has been able to complete his training program. Kishin couldn't train almost the entire year because he had this, this huge shin problem and it flared up and he was okay up until um, about December, then he hurt his quad. But what we did was to search way high and low for a solution and eventually we saw, found one in Australia and we managed to, to get it to Jamaica and then so since March he has been able to train fully and now he's in the, probably the best shape he has ever been because for one time he is able to just do his program, which he couldn't do in the years before. So that's Stephen Francis, coach of MVP. And if he's correct about Kishane being in the best shape of his life, look for something special at the National Stadium. I really just think this boy is outstanding and really, really brilliant. Reggae Boys winger Demarai Gray is anxious to play in the Copa America tournament, set to run. In fact, it starts tonight with Argentina against Canada, yeah? And that game will be at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Jamaica's first match will be against Mexico at the NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas on Saturday. That kicked off at, that will kick off at 8 o'clock in Jamaica time on Saturday. And Gray says the tournament has helped to establish the career of several players over the years. Obviously, if you look at the history of this tournament, See how many good players um, you know, I've played in it and you know, it's a very competitive tournament and you know, a testing tournament and want to be you know, tested at the highest levels and the best competitions and I'm you know, happy that we're in this and have got an opportunity to showcase what we're about. It's going to be you know, a tough tournament because it's very high quality but you know, without these tests you know, we're not going to push ourselves so yeah, I'm very excited. That's the Mara Gray. Reggae girls winger Jodie Brown signed her first professional contract with Portuguese giants Benfica Football Club. Brown, who's represented Jamaica at every level, recently graduated from college in the United States with a first degree. And she wrote on her social media page, quote, I'm proud and honored to sign my first professional contract with a big institution such as Benfica in Portugal. She continued uh, by saying being a professional player has always been my dream since I started playing in Jamaica. Yeah, she's from St. Anne. 
president of the JFF, Michael Ricketts, also weighed in. He said the signing augurs well for Jody's personal development and the development of the national team. Ricketts continued, Jody is a national treasure. She's young but very experienced, and Benfica has done well to get her a signature. I hope she scores countless goals. Brown will join her national captain, Khadija Bonishaw, in the UEFA Champions League come next season. England and Denmark are currently locked up at one apiece in the Euro 2024 group game in Frankfurt, Germany. Captain Harry Kane gave the three lines an 18th minute lead. However, the Danes drew level through Morten Jumlan in the 34th. Earlier, Serbia and Slovenia played out a 1-1 draw in Bayern Munich. The Serbs had earlier threatened to pull out of the tournament over chanting between Croatia and Albania fans on Wednesday. Chants could be heard during the 2-2 draw in Group B about the killing of Serbians. General Secretary of the Football Association of Serbia, Jovan Serbatovic, has called for the strongest sanctions to be taken. Sabotovic had told the international media what happened in, is scandalous and we will ask UEFA for sanctions even if it means not continuing in the competition, he said. Serbia are in Group C and began the tournament with a 1-0 defeat by England on Sunday. In the late game today, the champions Italy will take on Spain in a massive Group B clash and this game is set to be played over in Gelsenkirchen. Jamaican consumers yesterday picked up five more medals to bring their tally to 10 at the CC Can Swimming Championships in Mexico. The Jamaicans won an additional gold, silver and three bronze. Kai Alert won the 11 to 12 girls 50 meters free in 27.77 seconds. Her teammate Kai Lawson was third, 28.43. Scalander Richards posted 27.44 seconds to finish second in the 13 to 14 girls 50 meters free. In the 18 and over girls 50 meters free, Sabrina Lynn was third in 26.56, while Nathaniel Thomas was third in the boys race in 23.20. And finally, in sports at this time, uh, a Spartans athlete Sammy Depass will represent Jamaica at the International Powerlifting Federation World Classic Open Championships in the 76 kilometer class in Lithuania tomorrow. Depass will be among 19 female powerlifters competing in this prestigious tournament. Last year, she finished the seventh out of 25. There was the reigning champion in Jamaica's 76 kilometer class since 2021 and the Northern uh, the North American Powerlifting Federation champ since 2021. 22, the pass is no stranger to the demands and pressures of top-tier competition.